So why end the trilogy? Why end Rocksteady's <laughs> run with Batman with this one? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, we've been working on it for, I guess, probably eight years now, and it's a long time to, to work on it. And we kind of feel like, you know, this is the natural end for the story. It feels like this is a good, good place to do it. You know, we really want to kind of go out in style and do something really special. And this feels like this is the way to do it. And bringing in the Batmobile is kind of really something big and dramatic. And, uh, you know, thankfully, you know, Warner gave us the time and the investment to actually be able to include the Batmobile in the game. And so it felt, felt like the right time. You do realize the entire studio is decorated with Batman stuff, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my, my entire house is decorated with Batman stuff as well. You still like Batman after all this time? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, massively. It's weird because I think when you work on something for eight years and, like, for my kind of job, you have to be sort of obsessed with it. Like, I almost don't really think of anything else. And you think that you would get a, franchi- a level of franchise fatigue, but I don't know, it's just he's such a great character that, you know, I, I still love him I still get a buzz out of seeing him and playing the games and um, as a character I still get a real buzz out of seeing what other people do with the franchise and films and you know I'm the first person in the queue to see that stuff so do you think the general studio is pretty excited to move on though to try something new um I mean to be honest we're not it's kind of strange because this is the end of the fra- end of like the trilogy for us but we've not thought too much about what's next because we're so focused on finishing this one and it's the conversations are, what do you guys want to do next? And it's like, well, I don't know because like my, you know, our heads are just totally full with finishing this one. Because we are a one project studio, we don't have another team working on something. We just are all focused on making this game as good as it could be or can be because that we see guarantees the future success of the studio. So it's, it seems weird to say because we're not actually that far from finishing, but to say that we don't know what's next, but it's honestly the genuine truth. We don't know what's next, but um, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> You're clearly the licensed game kings at this point. Is that a trend you want to keep going? Um, I don't. I don't know really. It's a. I, I never. We never saw it with Batman for sure as like any as a negative thing because it's such a great universe and it's such a rich universe and that we always felt like very honoured to be able to work in it. Um, but I don't think that you know. I think it, it would have to be the right license that we felt we could you know, contribute to in that way. But I don't think we necessarily wouldn't do original IP at it either. You know, like, I don't think there's a conscious decision to do that. But I think whatever it is, it needs to be, have that kind of richness that, you know, that level of detail, that lore that, you know, that Batman has. So good luck finding that, I guess. Have you ever heard of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Uh, sounds interesting. Can you rule that out at this Tell point? Me more. I can officially rule that out, yes. Okay.